Well, one of the stories I was on investigating Cajun culture, you know, I remembered this story my mother told me when I was really small that if I was not good today, the loop guru will come and get me tonight. It's like the boogeyman story. You know, it's still a French story. In France, they still talk about the loop guru as a children's story. So I was commissioned to paint this book called By You with 40 ghost stories in it. And so one of the stories I selected was to paint the loop guru. So I was looking through my scrap file to try to find a wolf-like you know, crazy dog to paint and use it as, as a loop guru. Well, I came through one of the pictures of my scrap file of a dog I used to have, a studio dog, her name was Tiffany. And so I loosely painted the first one, this particular painting, loosely of Tiffany. Now Tiffany was a black and white dog and I wanted to paint this a nighttime scene. Most of the Loop Garou's stories were at night. The Loop Garou would come at night and so there was a full moon, bluish moon, and so I painted the Loop Garou in a bluish gray color reflecting the uh, white dog. And that's, that's how it, this blue came about and that's how it became the blue dog. I painted it for four years, calling it the Loop Garou. Uh, I was having a show in Los Angeles. At the same time, I was having had Cajun paintings, and I had three or four Loop Garou paintings there. And overheard people calling it the Blue Dog, and that changed everything in the way I thought of it. That I could use it as a way to uh, get out of the Cajun culture completely and paint something that people were calling the Blue Dog. But at that time, I didn't know what where it was going to go and what, what it was going to be about. It was just a way to sort of change my palette and paint the dog as if it was a person because I've always painted the Loop Garou eye level to you. You're not looking down at the dog and I never change the position of it. It's always in the same position because by doing that, it doesn't become a cartoon. It doesn't become a real dog that you would think that would move. It's, it's more of an image, and it's, it's, it's more of a mystery. Why is it always looking straight at you, eye level? And so we look at the dog, and the dog looks back at us, and we communicate that way. And it took like 20, 30 months to really, you know, understand what I was doing. And then here I am 20 years later still painting the blue dog, and I'm, I'm still learning things, what it's about, and what it's teaching me. And uh, we're still on the journey, I'm happy to say.